Hey, boss. Hold on. Yeah, everybody's here. Give me a roll call real quick. Michelle here. Hey, boss. Kelly's here. Hey, boss. Christy here. I'm here. Hey, you guys. Good job. I just checked the, uh, the standings, and it looks like Steve, you're number one, and Kelly's number two in the world. Great job down there in Batesville. Thank you. It's cold here. You might as well stay out there and make the money. Don't screw it up. I've got to go. Oh. We got to get to work, Kelly. I don't want to get on the boss's bad side, but I really think that Vegas is the best place for us to go. I agree with Christy. Vegas it is. Well, he wants Arizona, Queen Creek's right before Vegas, it's like five and a half hours. We can hit Queen Creek, Vegas, and then Queen Creek again. The only reason you want to go to Vegas is because of the showgirls. I'm not concerned about the girls. I've got one thing on my mind, and that's winning in that show pen. We work really hard. Don't you think we should enjoy like a little bit of fun? Yeah, I agree with the boss. I'm in. Viva Las Vegas! BOOM! <laughs>
That Sharpie was a bad Jose long ago. Sharpie was amazing. Yeah, yeah, we're in the money right now. There's not very many horses left. So. What'd you get? Seventy-one and a half. Yeah, right now we're second. It's awesome. Yeah, super, super, super. Good deal. He's picking the checkup everywhere now. Pretty good for a young horse, not shown very much. Not Absolutely. shown at all. Yeah, not shown at all. Don't hurt that million dollar mark either, huh? It doesn't. But you know what? I am so happy to have Christy back. Yeah. I was so bored with you, you walk. Thank you. <laughs> I was almost running out of things to tease you about. I bet nobody stayed busy while I was gone. No, they, they didn't. Nobody. We've loved Especially long. Oh. Yeah. Good thing I'm back to get everybody back in order. Randall, he's been busy. Man, I really needed Kelly right there. He had to step up. He probably cost me half a point, maybe a point. Every point that I get counts towards this million dollar mark. I need that guy. All right, Kelly, you probably cost me that half a point. Kill me, Stevie. I can't help you. I tell you all the time. Every time you step to the herd, I tell you, step out, step you gotta out. You got to do better, man. I can't I'm do that. I'm doing everything I can do. I can't I do, do it by myself. Step your horse out. Quit You're my assistant. Me. I, I can't help it. I'm doing everything. Assist. I'm assist. trying. I assist you all the time, but you got to help yourself and step your horse out. You call that assistant? Yes, I do. Really? I can't help it. You don't step your horse out. You stay right against the herd. And expect us to do all the work. That's, That's right. not That's a system. That's why I hired you to make sure the cows stay back. Well, I don't there. know what to tell you. Well, hire somebody else. Then. He's always on my ass. I, I don't know what I can do different. I guess I can always get a little better, but I'm always there. For you. Ended up with a 71 and a half. It's going to put us in the money. It's getting us closer to that million dollar mark. That Sharpie was a bad Jose long ago. Yeah, Sharpie was amazing. Yeah, yeah, we're in the money right now. There's not very many horses left. So, what'd you get? Seventy-one and a half. Yeah, right now we're second. It's awesome. Yeah, super, super, super. Good deal. He's picking the checkup everywhere now. Pretty good for a young horse, not shown very much. Not Absolutely. shown at all. Yeah, not shown at all. Don't hurt that million dollar mark either, huh? It doesn't. But you know what? I am so happy to have Christy back. Yeah. I was so bored with you, you walk. Thank you. <laughs> I was almost running out of things to tease you about. I bet nobody stayed busy while I was gone. No, they didn't. They? Nobody. We've loved Especially long. Yeah. Good thing I'm back to get everybody back in order. Randall, he's been busy. Man, I really needed Kelly right there. He had to step up. He probably cost me half a point, maybe a point. Every point that I get counts towards this million dollar mark. I need that guy. All right, Kelly, you probably talked to that half a point. Kill me, Stevie. I can't help you. I tell you all the time. Every time you step to the herd, I tell you, step out, step you out. You got to do better, man. I can't I'm do that. I'm doing everything I can do. I can't do it by myself. Step your horse out. Quit You're my assistant. I, I can't help it. I'm doing everything. Assist. I'm assist. trying. I assist you all the time, but you got to help yourself and step your horse out. Oh, an assistant? Yes, I do. Really? I can't help it. You don't step your horse out. You stay right against the herd and expect us to do all the work. That's, That's right. not That's why assistant. I hired you to make sure the cows stay back. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, Hire somebody else then. He's always on my ass. I, I don't know what I can do different. I guess I can always get a little better, but I'm always there for Anybody else you have to walk down there just like nobody's watching. It has to be natural. You're playing a movie that only that judge can see. There's nobody in the stands, it's just you, your horse, the cows. Yeah, well, now I've got to get enough horse to do it. I just feel like I don't measure up sometimes. But you just have to stay relaxed. If you can't tell yourself what to do, just another day at the practice. It is. You can't tell yourself what to do. You can't tell anybody else what to do, including your horse. You know, Michelle, she's great. She's as good as anybody here. All she has to do is relax. So what do you think, old timer? <laughs> I think by golly, as long as you do a good job and you're honest with yourself, all will be good. Thank you. All right, all right, we don't have time for this. Let's do this. So I didn't eat anything today because I'm so incredibly nervous. Um, and I'm much more nervous than normal. It's my first time in Vegas, and it is big. <laughs> Hey, you need to get
get off the fence and start taking this serious. Right at the end of the year, every big boy's here, and you're sitting on the fence gawking at girls. It's about time you get serious about the million dollars. I am serious about it. What are you talking about? You're not. Look at you. You're sitting on the fence. They got the fresh cows in the pen. You're supposed to be my guy to help me down in the pen, and you're standing here bitching at me? I'm not standing here. I came to get you. You're sitting there. It's even worse. Yeah. I kind of come and get you because you're up here on the fence showboating for all the girls. I would never do that. <laughs> unless it was for you all. That's all. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about me. Get to watching your cows. I've been watching cows for you. The big ones. That's it. Hey, so you know what tomorrow is? What? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day? <laughs> yeah. I know you have something picked out for wasn't me, right? It wasn't it just your birthday? Mm-hmm. It was. You need well, anything for Valentine's Day? Well, you need something. I kind of picked you out something up here in the expo. So, I don't know It's about kind that. of a surprise. i put this on you. You think? I'm going to. In front of all these people? No. Okay. Surprise. Come on with me. So tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I have a great idea for a present for Steve. Where do you think you are? I have no idea. <laughs> what, a hat? Yep. I don't need a hat. I'm getting rid of this nasty thing. No. Oh, yeah. I work and play in this hat. Plus, I won a world championship in this hat. Yep. No way. Here in Vegas, it's time for something else. I don't want a new hat. Not this nasty straw hat. No. Absolutely not. Hey, Glenn. Do you think you can help me fix this? Why, sure. Y'all want a hat? Come on, I got just the right one for you. You know I am, baby. You're pretty hot in that hat yourself. What about this gray one? It's not even real beaver. Yep. It's real something. <laughs> yeah, I think it's rabbit. Do you think we can get Glenn to shape this one? Maybe. I don't know. This one's got a stampede string. I like it. There you go, Michelle. Give that one a shot and see what you think. All right. Let's see if we've got a winner. <laughs> He didn't much like the idea of getting a new hat, but I think once we got it on him, it started to grow on him a little bit. Wow, I think this really could be the one. I think it looks really good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think All that right. was the one. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. what'd you think? What'd you do? Okay. I felt really good. I thought Manny worked really good. Um, I felt like my third cut was a little bit, it wasn't as smooth as it possibly could have been. Um, I've been doing that lately, like on my last cow, just not getting in there real clean. So we'll work on being clean tomorrow, but I was really happy with the way my horse worked. I felt like it was really good. I stayed relaxed, the horse was good, you were good. The presentation was awesome. No neck riding, I was proud. I know, no neck riding today. Boom. Boom. You don't want it? <laughs> boom! No boom for Kelly. I can't wait to I think I found Kelly a date on Tinder. Do you have a Tinder? Of course Why do you have a Tinder? Uh, why not? So he's, he's not going to do it himself. Okay. Well, like, she's cute and everything. He's never going to go for it because she's actually here. Oh, she's here? Like, if yeah. is she a cutter or a lower? She's a cutter. Oh, wow. Okay. So what? She's going to show up and, like, be expecting you? Why not? I'm good looking, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, but you're not supposed to be looking on Tinder. I'm what not. Are you I'm looking do? for Kelly. I know. What are you going to do? Whatever, like, if she, you're not Kelly, obviously. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find that out. <laughs> Let me take care of it. Whatever. I honestly cannot believe that you have a Tinder profile. I think it's highly inappropriate you're using your picture to try to get Kelly dates. Well, who else is going to? I don't know. He can fend for himself. I think you're not just really. using it for an You've excuse. You've seen Kelly. I think you're just using it for an excuse to He's like check out girls and not get in trouble. Shy, awkward person I know. He's fine. Like you need Look to leave him. Kelly alone. I can't believe I agreed to this crap. I can't either. The only reason I did is because for once this one's hot. I never pick bad ones for you, Kelly. You always do. That's all you do is pick bad Hi. ones. Hey. Are you Steve? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're you doing well? Yeah, you just like you do in your pictures. Yeah, so I have a confession to make. Um, I put a profile up of myself that 
I have the love of my life here, Michelle. But my friend Kelly here, he's, he's a little bit shy and awkward, but he'd really love to have a chance to go out with somebody like you. I'm Kelly, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. You just catfished this girl. Like, honestly. No, I just put just the bobber a, in the water. Just a joke? Am I on TV or something? No, it's no joke. No, actually, it's, it's real. He does this all the time. Okay. Are you down with it? Yeah. I mean, you found me on Tinder, so I'm awesome. down for a lot. Let's awesome. do this. Let's go for some lunch. All right. Let's go. Kelly's so shy and awkward. I think she'd really fit in. They may not like how they met, but that's what I do. Stephanie, I'm really sorry that we just got bombarded with all this. Uh, Kelly's actually a really, really great guy. And Steve is too. He's a little bit over the top, but thanks for being a good sport. Yeah, no problem. I like meeting new people, so. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Michelle. So what do you do for a living? I'm a travel nurse. Oh, wow. You make a gorgeous travel nurse. Thanks. And I like to come to these shows and watch the Cowboys. Perfect. Yeah. You're at the right place here. So do you ride? I do. What do you ride? Mostly horses. Really? Wow, log. She might be a keeper. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, guys. Hey, Christy. I thought we were all going to dinner. Oh, we never forget you. You forgot me. It's kind of awkward. Not really. So, what's up? Well, we're trying to get Kelly a date, and we just got distracted. I'm sorry. Come on in. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Christy. Stephanie. Nice to meet nice you. To we all work you. together, and I'm Kelly's roommate. Oh. And a drink? They live yeah, together, but like one. they're not really involved. Yeah, no, no. no it's, it's all good. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. Super awkward again. And then to add pressure, Christy walks in. I don't know how this is going to go with her, but super proud of Stevie. He actually picked a winner, I think, this time. So where are you from? Are you local? You or? No, I'm from the Northwest Washington State. Oh, okay. That's a long way from Ohio. That's where Kelly and I are. Yeah, yeah it's a way across the country. Kelly was really nervous, and because he was nervous, I got really nervous. They actually all work for Lazy L Ranch in Ohio. Stevie, our head trainer, is uh, actually hopefully going to get his million dollar mark this year and make the Hall of Fame. Very cool. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Especially with their help. Yeah. It's a Can't lot of work. do it without us. We don't really have a lot of time for anything other than I don't know if that's really exactly easy. true. I can do it without Kelly, maybe, but not these two. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Appreciate the confidence. But he's still a great guy. I mean, if you could, I'd love for you guys to go get some ice cream or something later. Kind of spice things up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Get some sprinkles on it. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why is my saddle, why is Iceman not here? <laughs> Looks like I'm not showing Iceman today. Knew that was gonna happen. So I am super frustrated. I just went to the stall to get my horse to go show and he's not there and my saddle is laying in the dirt and I don't know why. Why isn't the saddle on Iceman? Like why is my saddle sitting in the dirt instead of on the horse I'm supposed to show? Stevie made a change this morning. Okay. He's pulled you off. The cows have been bad all week, and he just figured that I'd fit those cows and Iceman better today. So you guys have spent all of this time building my confidence, teaching me on this horse, and now because we're at a big show, I don't get to show him. No, that's not it at all. He just feels yeah, that, it's... no, it's not. He feels that You've got less experience than anybody. The cows are real bad. He don't want to blow you or the horse up. So, I, I mean, I feel like I come here and I do all of this grunt work for the opportunity to show this horse, and I just feel like that the rug's just being pulled out from under me. Like, you do. You, you know, look, it, it's we've known each other our whole lives. We have to trust him that he's making the right call on everything we do, on every horse. Best thing I can do is tell you to talk to him. She came to me all upset, putting me in the middle of it, making me the bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy. At the end of the day, it's Stevie's decision. Whatever he says goes. I don't care what Kelly says to defend Steve. I am pissed. There is no reason why I shouldn't be showing the horse that I've already shown. 
in that I'm ready to show. So, just had a conversation with Kelly. Where's, where's my horse? Where's Iceman? I'm gonna let Kelly show him today. Why is he getting to show him instead of me? Well, today's one of those days. I think he's got more experience and it's time to do it. We need the points. It's gotta happen that points. way. I know you do, but you know what? It's tough here today. The cow's pretty fast. Kelly has more experience. I need to... It wouldn't be a good learning experience for me. Oh, I gotta take care of the team, man. We're a team, all four of us. I have to do what's best for us. So I come in here and I do all of the grunt work and you promise me that I'm gonna show that horse. You guys have been teaching me on that horse. You've built my confidence on that horse. And now I'm gonna show a horse that I don't even know. I gotta make decisions sometimes. Some that are best for all of us. It's a team. I'll never do you wrong, Christy. I don't know, that's just the horse that you built my confidence on and you know I get scared on other horses, so I just don't know why. You're going to put me on another horse that I'm probably going to be scared. Because I have more confidence in you. I need the experience with Kelly, but I need the courage from you. That's why. Christy came to me upset. I, I had to make a decision for our team. She's a great girl, has a ton of ability. Nothing more that I, I would want for her to win. And that's why I made these choices. I know she can do it. Steve made the call, so I'm gonna have to buck up and work even harder on a horse I don't know and hopefully be more confident than I think I am. So I know you're really nervous about riding your new horse today, so I kind of have something a little special planned for you. Really? Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, I picked out you a new little shirt, and we're going to kind of put some makeup on you and do a little bit of a makeover if you're okay with that. Yeah. Sounds great. I think it's a little top red. Okay. All right. Good. Well, come on. Let's go get our shirt. Do I look like a picnic basket right now? Okay, I've run one request. Just please do not make me look like a rodeo clown. I don't usually wear makeup, so it's gonna be really weird for me. And I don't want the cows to attack me like I'm a rodeo clown. I want to cut the cows. Okay. Rodeo queen. Okay. So how are you feeling about the switch? I'm really nervous. I just, I don't feel confident at all getting on a horse I don't know. Well, you know, the only word of advice that I can give you is that so just be confident. I know Steve did that on purpose. Like, there's a reason behind it. It's going to make you a better horseman. That horse is probably going to actually be easier for you to get along with than the one that you have been riding, and you're going to be successful, I promise you. Okay. I just feel like watching both the horses, they, they look completely different, and that's what freaks me out. Like, I'm just starting to get used to one thing, and I feel like it's going to be literally like a 180 as to what I'm used to, and I don't really want to fall off. Because you know that I'm scared I'm going to fall off. Yeah, you're not going to fall off with them. I mean, like, first times are usually pretty good. Like, you have beginner's luck with the yeah. first horse. Like, yeah. they usually will start coming apart a little bit the longer that you've been on them. Yeah. So you're going to be fine. I promise. You'll probably like it a whole lot more than you think. Yeah. Well, at least in general, like, generally speaking, he is, like, a really sweet horse. So hopefully that will. He's not, like, a spaz or anything. So that's good. Yeah, he's a sweet horse. And he's also won $80,000. So. Maybe he'll win 80100 after I'm done with him. Yes, he very well might. <laughs> <laughs> I feel completely awkward. <laughs> Just get in there and put that on. Okay. <laughs>
I spent a little time with Christy earlier today. We gave her a little cowgirl makeover. Cowgirl makeover? Well, yeah, I was trying to help her confidence out. She soon took her horse away from her. What'd you do to her? Just a little outshot, a little new shirt. You guys just have to wait and see. Wow! <laughs> Look at you! What have they done? <laughs> Lots. They they yeah, changed your whole appearance. Yeah, yeah they changed. I, I was coming to put some earrings in or something. Yeah. I, I felt like this was enough for one. It's a lot of change to take in and absorb. So, so Rangel is now a fashion critic. Yes. Yes. Well, you know what? Now now if you, if, I think if, you got a B instead if, of an A. Yeah, but you know what? If you want that that far, you should just finish it off. <laughs> you look <laughs> hot, Christy. Thank right. you, Long. Yeah. yeah. I gotta be honest with you. I'm usually a fan of bays, but you make it. Pretty sexy <laughs> Hey, you got him looked down good tonight? I think so. I mean, I'm kind of new with him, so. Yeah. He's been confident. He's been working really good this week. Yeah, I mean, he did great for you earlier, so. Yeah, just try to relax and really find your seat and just stay even with your cow and really focus on your job. Okay. Really execute it right. You won't have any problems at all. So... I think I'm most nervous about bringing, getting the cow out. Like, that's what I get nervous about. If I'm confident with that, I can the rest of my ride goes well, but if I get nervous there, then I'm I I'm going to tell you right now, you've got to learn to slow down. Even talking, you're super fast. you got to learn to relax a little bit, just take it as it comes, and really execute it as it's happening. Okay. Breathe. Slow and steady and listen. Breathe out when you pull the trigger. You'll keep it more steady. Drink lots of water, walk slow, and don't get excited. Everything will be okay, huh? You say that to me every day, and I never listen. <laughs> it was about time you listened to me. <laughs> you need to start listening. I know. I'm not great at that. Well, I'm, re I'm ready to show. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling sassy. I'm ready to do it. <sighs> okay, buddy. You're going to have to trust me, and I'm going to have to trust you today. I know I'm really nervous, and I know that you can be nervous, so I'm going to do my best to not give my nerves to you. And hopefully you will cut a cow for me. What do you think? You going to be my buddy today? Huh? going to be my buddy today? Yeah. Hello, guys. I know things are tough, but you know, you'll be alright. Just just like it at home, you know. Yeah, I know, I'm just Don't get excited, I'm drink lots of water and walk slow, everything will be just fine, honey. I just get so nervous because there's so many experienced people here. They're just people too, they can have bad days just like everybody else. So you're just gonna have to get on there and do your best and everything will be great. Just a lot more people here watching than at a weekend home. You know, yeah, I don't know. Show yep, all they want to do is see you get on that horse. Go warm that rascal up, you'll be all right. That could not have been a train wreck. It's all right, just learning experience. I didn't think it looked like a train wreck at all. It looked to me more like a boost wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did, gotta do better. Did any part of it look good? Before you cross the timeline. <laughs> I, mean, come I don't on. know. As soon as I got in there, I just went into like absolute panic mode. You just gotta learn to keep it together. Quick when have about. I ever kept anything together? Oh, that's true. <laughs> Maybe you ought to stick to local. You gotta learn how to slump a little more, you know? Look at Steve, but he's all bent over, he's rolled into the ball. You, you, you gotta just learn. have to learn to be more relaxed with yourself. I mean, just look at me, see how relaxed I look? Yeah. I'm about to lose a bunch of weight, I got it all shook down to one end. <laughs> I'm still proud of you. Yeah. You know, you've walked to the herd, what, 12 times in your life? Yeah, but that was, I'm fine making mistakes, that was just embarrassing. Like, uh, that was embarrassing. That was the prettiest I've ever seen you walk to the herd. Thanks. I, yeah, you do that well. <laughs> I can sit on one. It looks pretty, apparently. Yeah, you just yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work out, you know. I just panic as soon as I get in there. I get in. I just panic. You know, sometimes you have to have a clear shot at those cows to make it work. Running back to back didn't help. Getting set up where it's a confident building situation, in other words, being set up on the right foot helps so much. If you have a good horse, you ride well, you could uh, check back your emotions just a little bit, have some, a little bit more emotional 
one margarita. I was fixing to say, maybe one margarita. Control the emotional effect. I need a margarita. One margarita. If you if you relax a little more, everything will be good. I would like a margarita right now. Does anybody else sell the margarita right now? Margarita time. Ice can would like a margarita. He's counting how many times he messed up. <laughs> Keep so, going, buddy. A couple more. At least three more. <laughs> it was, maybe it was a two margarita, you know? Yeah, it might be. One yeah. more day. Clear your head. You know what? Tomorrow. You know what my mother's favorite saying was? One day at a time. See, it wasn't good today. Yeah. Tomorrow might be better. Maybe I'm going to be like an every other day at this show. Like, yeah. I was really bad. You know what my favorite good, saying is? And I was really bad, so tomorrow I'm going to be, you know. Take it easy. If you get it easy, take it twice. <laughs> <laughs>